Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to this wonderful zoo where I have a feeling they need us to go ahead and spawn loads of different creatures which I'm feeling might be our job to do. Villagers, is everything okay? I'm pretty sure they've invited us here because they need our help in going ahead and testing out these brand new spawners. So let me go ahead and put on our full outfit of Frostwalker, Crocodile as well as Outback and Fish Shoes. This is going to be so awesome. Villagers, how do I look? I think my girlfriend is zombie is going to go ahead and love our fish shoes. They look so awesome. Well, let me go ahead and read our book and let's go and see exactly what the villagers need us to complete. Hello, Naveed. We are so glad you have come to help us. We need your urgent help in fixing our zoo. We forgot to spawn all the mobs before opening time. Quickly, time is running out. Wait, are you trying to say it's up to us to go ahead and spawn all of these mobs? What happens if they're dangerous? Okay, I think we're going to have to go ahead and try our hardest and hopefully we won't miss spawn any. Let me go ahead and take out our full first two rows and hopefully we don't mess up. Villagers, if I need your help, I'm really hoping I can come back and get some food from you guys. But you know what? Let me make my way over and let's get spawning the first few monsters that we have to go ahead and do. Which I have a feeling is going to be right inside this enclosure. So let me head right inside and perfect. Let me go ahead and spawn the first few mobs which is going to be our awesome raccoon. <laughs> cool. He looks so crazy. Now I have a feeling he might steal some of our food so let's be really cautious of him. I think his tail is going to go ahead and attract some dangerous mobs. Wait, he's looking at us. Let me go ahead and spawn a friend for him and let's do our gorilla. Cool, now this guy is massive as well and he's going ahead and munching away at all our blocks. <laughs> How did he find that banana? I'm pretty sure he was breaking leaves and it gave him one. Okay, maybe we can get some for ourselves later. But you know what? Let me go ahead and spawn another creature which is gonna be our shoe bill. <gasps> Cool. And look how scary he looks. I think he's looking at us thinking if we have his stick. Yep, we do. <laughs> okay, there we go. Enjoy your wonderful gifts. Maybe we can go ahead and spawn some other monsters around here like our crow. Where is it? Oh, I think it's inside the bush. There we go. Now this guy is super simple and he'll pick up any of the scraps you leave and hopefully we should be safe. Well, let me go ahead and spawn the last creature. It's going to be our rattlesnake that I think will rattle when it starts to go ahead and see us. Well, time to back out. Well, let me actually go ahead and spawn the next few monsters then and hopefully we won't mess up on these guys. I'm going to go inside this empty enclosure and hopefully this should be good enough. Let me take out a few more of our monsters, which I might go ahead and take out a different row. And we can go ahead and see exactly what they look like. So let me spawn our Roadrunner that will go ahead and sprint around super quick. Now we've got to keep an eye on this guy. If not, he'll get out of the enclosure. And we can also spawn, maybe let's do, let's see, we've got a Galada monkey. Ah, okay. This guy is really violent and he will go ahead and take every single banana that we have. Whoop, he's trying to look at us. Okay, let's back off and let's spawn a friend for him like a capuchin monkey. Ah, this is so cute. But sadly, I don't think I've got anything for them. I don't think even the roadrunner enjoys these seeds. Well, let's not give up now and let me go ahead and spawn a Komodo dragon that I think will be slightly dangerous. Okay, I think we're good for now. Let's slowly by slowly back off. No, he's killing our roadrunner. Ah, and now he's after us. Okay, let's get out of here as fast as we can. And maybe we can spawn the alligator guard that will go ahead and pretty much fight back for us. Nope, the alligator guard's not doing anything. Ah, this is awful. Well, I think I don't like this zoo anymore. All the mobs we're spawning are really dangerous. But thankfully, we've only got a few more to go ahead and do. So let me take out a few more random ones and hopefully we can figure out if these guys are dangerous or not. Oh, we can take every single one out. Perfect. Well, I guess I could spawn the next few right next to our iron golem. Just in case they become really violent and we won't be able to save ourselves. Okay, let me go ahead and see if we've got something really nice like our catfish. Um, did something push me? Let me just go ahead and do this. There we go. What do you guys think? I think you will enjoy this super well. Okay, I've just realized it's our flying fish shoes that will go ahead and save us and pretty much get us up and we can be such wonderful creatures. Whoop! Okay, let's get out of it before we hurt ourselves badly. I might head inside this enclosure and let's go and see what we can spawn inside this water-like one. Um, do you know what? I'm going to make my way up there. Gollum, how do I get upstairs? I think it might be through this painting. 
Ah, there we go. This is perfect. Villagers, I'm ready to spawn our water ones. So let me go ahead and take out my hammerhead shark as well as I think I did notice we got another frilled shark right around here. And then that might be one of the last few. I'm guessing we could go ahead and spawn some of the larger ones later, which is kind of like the orcas I'm talking about. And let's go ahead and do this. So let me spawn our hammerhead shark as well as our frilled shark and then our giant squid, and then finally the lobster. Okay, now's my chance to head down, and let's go and take a better look. Villagers, it's gonna be pretty crazy right now. So let's head right inside. I think a creature might be dying. Um, did something die? Or is it that they're trying to kill the squids? Okay, so we got our hammerhead shark, and then we have our frilled shark, as well as the squid. But I think we might be missing something, which I'm kind of scared about. Ah, this is so crazy. I can't believe today we're going to have so many wonderful creatures roaming around. And let me go ahead and spawn another friend right around here. Which I think, right next to this tree, we should spawn the platypus. Ah, <laughs> okay, look how cute he is. He's going to be our best friend ever. And I could spawn the flying fish to give him a bit of company. There we go. It kind of looks like our shoes right now. And I want to go ahead and spawn the Tasmanian Devil inside this enclosure with all of our wonderful horses. So let's jump inside if we can or just go through the front gate. And perfect. And let me go ahead and spawn our Tasmanian Devil. There we go. <laughs> he does look like a tiny horse. Okay, let me take out a few more creatures and let's start spawning them around. I'm kind of excited. Sadly, the bold eagle, no matter where we spawn it, is going to fly around and roam free. So I think we can just spawn him right around here. Let's also spawn our kangaroo, which is going to be really awesome, as well as our anteater, which might need some leaves, so we can leave him for later. And let's also do our hummingbird, which looks super cute, and then our mimic octopus, that will change color depending on what he's on. Ready? See? I told you! He does change. And let me go ahead and spawn an emu right around here. I think this would be perfect. Ah, oh, they were really best friends. I knew they would get along. And the final one I could go ahead and do is our main dwarf. There we go. See, this doesn't look like anything you're used to. Well, let's get out of here as fast as we can before something turns vicious. And hopefully we should be able to survive this. Oh, I think the squid's trying to escape. Okay, perfect. It's literally like finding Nemo right now. Well, I'm going to actually head right inside here, and hopefully inside these prisons we can spawn some better monsters, like our anteater. Oh, okay, I knew this guy was dangerous. Maybe we can keep him away from all the ants and we should be alright. And he's already making himself at home. Let me also take out a few more random spawners, and let's go see what we have. Inside this prison, I am going to spawn our crocodile. That looks super scary. I think he's just realized we do have a chest plate made completely out of his items. Now he's got us. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to eat the fish. Get off us. We're not going to be able to survive this. Ah, this is awful. He's trying to drag us into the water, but there are none nearby. Ugh, I'm so glad we could spawn back. I'm going to have to quickly hurry up then, and let's do the anaconda right around here. That once again is massive. I think he's trying to hunt us, which is not going to be good. No! <laughs> okay, it's another one that's got us. And why isn't the iron golem doing anything? He's supposed to keep all the zoo guests super safe. So he's not going to be the best zookeeper we've ever had. Ah, this is awful. Let's rush out of here before we get killed again. I'm going to go ahead and do our leaf cutter right around here. That will go ahead and cut leaves and take it back to the nest. He is so happy to have his first piece. And I could go ahead and spawn some other creatures like our seal that I might do inside this enclosure. I think this is going to be way better than all our other ones. So let me jump over to this side. And perfect. Let me go ahead and spawn our seal, which is going to look so cute inside this biome. And we could also go ahead and give him a friend like our bison. Oh! Okay, I didn't realize it was that dangerous. Maybe I could spawn our snow leopard then to keep things calm. Are we good? Okay, no, I really hope he's not hunting. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure we're safe. I have a feeling they're all making themselves at home. And I could take out the last few spawners that we have, and hopefully we can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn our seagull, which is going to look so awesome. And then let me also go ahead and do our orca, which sadly hasn't got any water right now, but he will make his own. So this is definitely going to work out perfect. And we could also spawn a grizzly bear that I'm hoping will keep us very safe. Okay, I think he might have seen us. Let's also spawn our moose then, which is going to be our final few that we have to go ahead and do. 
Oh, 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 goes and finding the water he needs. Let's try and push him in and hopefully we can do this. Nope, he might need some more blocks. Let's go ahead and try and open this up. There we go. Maybe we can actually give him some more space to go ahead and enjoy himself. Orca, this way. This is the only chance you have. Maybe we can save it and get it inside the water. Quickly, come on, before he runs out. I think very slowly he'll start to drown. Hopefully we can go ahead and do this. Come on, and perfect. Orca, ah, how did he get over to that side? That's not good. Oh, we've completely messed up in spawning that one. I is so sad. We could go ahead and spawn him again later. Let me also spawn our gazelle, which is going to look so good next to our toucan, as well as our tiger. And all three of them now should get along. <laughs> okay, that's awful. Let me get away from this for as fast as we can, and let's head inside to spawn our catch a lot well, which I'm going to spawn right around here. And perfect. Nope, well too big for any enclosure nearby. Nothing is going to be good unless we get out of here as fast as we can. This is one of the biggest wells inside our whole world. And let me spawn the final one, which I'm going to do inside this other enclosure. And hopefully we should be all right. Let me spawn our elephant. Oh, cute. He's so awesome. And look at it. He's loving right now. Maybe he might enjoy some more dirt, which I think is going to be really awesome. Well, guys, we've gone ahead and done it. We've spawned every single creature that we had to go ahead and do. And now all the villagers should be super happy. And we can get back to our normal outfit and welcome all the guests. Well, let's go check up on them and let's go see if they're all around. Right. And guys, I think we've done it. The zoo is now open and I've just realized our anaconda is taking baby villagers away. Okay, we can't let this continue. We're going to have to go ahead and kill him off before his body even gets bigger and bigger. Okay, we're going to have to save all the villagers from this crazy monster. Villagers, I could do with some items. It's going to take forever to kill this guy if not. Okay, perfect. We've got him inside the enclosure. Hopefully, we should be all right. Ah, I think he's shedding his skin. Okay, let's get out of here then as fast as we can because we're not going to be able to survive this. But the great news is, is that all the villagers are enjoying every single one of these shops. We can even go ahead and buy enchanted golden apples. Well, guys, I think we've done it. We've gone ahead and kept all the villagers super happy and slowly by slowly, they're looking around for their best exhibit. Well, guys, I will see you soon in the crazy Minecraft video and don't forget to like this this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.